Welcome to the Blackboard Basics beginning of the semester orientation. Blackboard is MATC's online learning environment. All semester classes are given a course shell in Blackboard through an automated process that starts with course scheduling in Info Online. Before courses begin each semester, we recommend that all faculty review these best practices for developing and managing course content, as well as supporting students in their learning. In this brief orientation video, faculty will review essential tasks to prepare themselves for teaching with Blackboard. In this video, you will review how to log into Blackboard and access courses, methods of adding materials to a semester course shell, the key communication tools faculty should use to support students in their learning, and resources that are available to faculty and students to support their use of Blackboard. What is Blackboard? Blackboard is MATC's official learning management system. It is a web-based software product for delivering your course's content online and providing feedback to students. All semester classes are given a course shell in Blackboard through an automated process that starts with course scheduling and info online. If you do not see a course that you will be teaching this semester in Blackboard, please follow up with your associate dean directly so that course scheduling is notified. Once you were assigned the course in info online, this information is automatically pushed to Blackboard within 24 hours. Students enroll in courses through registration processes in info online. Once a student is officially enrolled in a course through Info Online, the student will appear in your course roster in Blackboard the next morning by 10.30 a.m. when the automated daily update process between Info Online and Blackboard completes. What does Blackboard do? All faculty are required to use Blackboard to post a syllabus to each of their courses. For online courses, faculty use Blackboard to deliver instruction. For face-to-face -face courses, faculty may use Blackboard as a tool to communicate with students, provide great feedback, and supplemental resources. Minimum instructor skill requirements for using Blackboard. Successful instruction using Blackboard requires that you have developed basic skills in using computers, word processing programs, accessing the internet and websites, and using online communication tools. Instructors teaching 100% online courses must complete three Blackboard training courses through MATC's Professional Development Department. These one-credit courses are free to MATC faculty and are offered every semester. Please watch your MATC Gmail for important announcements from professional development regarding course offerings. Minimum Technical Requirements for Using Blackboard Faculty and students must have access to a Windows or Mac computer with a supported web browser to access Blackboard. Supported web browsers include the most recent releases of Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. It is usually a good idea to have two supported web browsers installed on your computer. In the event that there is a problem with one browser, you may use the alternative browser. Also, please make sure that your web browser has JavaScript enabled, pop-ups allowed from Blackboard, and the necessary software plugins or extensions to view instructional content online. Task number one, access Blackboard. Your first task as instructor is to ensure that you are able to access Blackboard using your MATC network username and password. You may access Blackboard by first logging into the MATC portal and then clicking on the links provided in the portal's Blackboard module. Please note that the Blackboard course links in the MATC portal directly correspond to your teaching assignments as found in Info Online. If you do not see one of your courses listed, Please follow up with your associate dean, who can then work with course scheduling to ensure that the assignment is completed. Task 2. Adding and Building Content Once you are able to log into Blackboard and access your courses, you can begin adding content to your courses. Please note that the automated data integration process between Info Online and Blackboard creates all new courses with their availability to students turned off. This is to prevent students from accessing the courses while you develop your content, tools, and communications. When you are ready to open the course to student access, please turn your course's availability on by no later than the course's official start date as listed in Info Online. Course content can be developed in several ways. If you are teaching a course for the first time, you may add materials directly to a live semester course shell by uploading individual files, such as your syllabus. If your department has developed a master copy of a course called a department master, 
you should request access to the department master so that you can archive its contents and import it into your live semester course. Similarly, if you have developed your own master copy of a course called a personal master, you can archive its contents and import it into your live semester course. If you are working with a textbook publisher and they offer instructional materials that are formatted for use with Blackboard, you may connect your live semester course shell to a publisher's website or import a course cartridge. If you intend to use publisher materials, please contact your publisher's technical support or representative directly for support. As mentioned previously, all faculty, regardless of whether they teach online or in face-to-face -face courses, are required to post a course syllabus in each of their courses in Blackboard. Also, all faculty must make their courses available in Blackboard so that students may access the syllabi. You may find instructions for performing these key tasks on the Blackboard Faculty Support website and in your campus's Faculty Resource Center. When you enter your Blackboard course to build your content, you are presented with a list of buttons in the navigation menu on the left side of the page. When developing a course, you may organize your content using the following structures. Content areas. A content area is a new type of page in your Blackboard course for you to add content to. A content area button is added to your course menu each time you create a new content area. Content area folders. A content area folder is a folder within a content area page. They are oftentimes used to organize learning materials, activities, and assessments by lesson, topic, or week. Learning modules. A learning module is a structured unit of content with a table of contents that enables the student to follow a structured path for progressing through a lesson. Learning modules can be added to content areas or nested within content area folders. And lastly, tool links. A tool link is a button that connects to a specific course tool, such as the discussion board or the announcements page. To add these structures to your course, you must have edit mode turned on in the course so that you can access the add and build menus that provide these options. As a best practice when developing your content, please make sure you review your content before making it available to students. Make sure that your materials are accessible, that due dates are accurate, that content is logically organized, and that you have provided students with links to MATC's academic and technical support resources. When reviewing your course, we strongly recommend using your course's student preview mode option to view your course's design and materials as your students will. This is oftentimes useful for troubleshooting content and availability settings. After you have developed and reviewed your course's content, we recommend adding a welcome announcement to your course that orients students to your course and introduces you to your students. If you are teaching an online course, be sure to add directions for students about where to begin or what tasks you would like them to perform to get started in the course. To create the welcome announcement, you may use your course's announcement tool or use the Quickly tool that is available to you on the employee screen of Blackboard when you are logged in. Through the Quickly tool, you may create an announcement and post it to several classes at once. We recommend making the course available to students by no later than 8 a.m. of the course's official start date. Instructors may make their courses available to students through the Quickly Tools course availability on and off switches. Task number three, use key communication tools. When working in your course, please remember to support your students by using these tools often. The announcements tool a tool for frequent communication to students in your course. Faculty information tool, a tool for creating a virtual business card that lists your office hours and contact information. Email tool, a tool students may use to send an email to you or classmates in the course. Discussion board tool, a communication tool for class conversation and information sharing. And the migrates tool, a tool for delivering frequent and timely grade feedback to students. Task number four, identify support resources. Faculty may find resources to support their use of Blackboard by navigating to the employee page of Blackboard when they are logged in. 
On the employee page, you will find a link to the faculty support website, which contains tutorials, request forms, and contact information for faculty instructional support liaisons and technical support. A frequently asked question and known issues section with links to useful tutorials and troubleshooting tips. And our MATC Blackboard support Twitter feed, which displays timely announcements for faculty and students. Faculty who are interested in learning how to use Blackboard are encouraged to complete MATC's official Blackboard training courses, which are offered to faculty every semester. They are free, one-credit courses that count towards professional development. Please see the Faculty Blackboard Support website for the current schedule of courses. For faculty who have taken the training courses and need a little review, or for new faculty who have not yet taken the training courses, we have created a self-paced quick start training site within Blackboard. To access this resource, simply log into Blackboard and click on the link that is provided in the Frequently Asked Questions module of the employee page. The quick start training site contains tutorials with video demonstrations and step-by-step -step instructions for performing common tasks in your course, such as developing content and using your course's grade center. Student Support Resources Students may find a wealth of informative resources by clicking on the Student Support tab in Blackboard. This will launch the Student Support website, which contains helpful instructions for submitting assignments, posting to discussion boards, and taking online tests in Blackboard, as well as links to the online student orientation, technical skills self-assessment, and student support contact form. Students who would like to enroll in online courses are strongly encouraged to enroll in the online student readiness course. In this course, which is conducted in person and online, students will review the fundamental skills, technologies, and best practices for being successful in online learning. Students may register for the course through their local campus's Welcome Center or through the Info Online website. Thank you for viewing this video about instructor best practices for preparing courses before the semester begins. In this video, we reviewed how to log into Blackboard to access your courses, methods of adding your course materials to a semester course shell, key communication tools in Blackboard you should use to support student success, and resources to support instructor and student use of Blackboard. For questions about these processes, please use the resources provided through the Blackboard Faculty Support website and Quick Training site. You may access these resources when logged into Blackboard.